October 12th zoning board hearing. Uh, before we get into the regular business, I do want to share with the board that we received a letter. Um, regretfully, there was a resignation from my vice chairman, um, Mary Carlson. Uh, Mary has, uh, has uh, put a resignation on, on this board after being on this board for approximately 10 years. Um, I believe she's, she has served this board and has served this community with, uh, with the utmost of respect and um, the utmost of efforts given to this board for the, over the 10 years she's been here. It's going to be a tremendous loss to lose her because she actually was not only the vice chairman, but she, she brought that, that great aspect of an attitude of, uh, and a worth ethic right to this board. Um, personally, f from my side, I think she's going to be um, very well missed. We wish her a wonderful opportunity as she moves over to uh, a, a new city and town to be close to her family members. And uh, with regret, we take this resignation and wish her nothing but the best of luck. Mary, if you're listen listening to us tonight, I'm sure you can probably tune in in October or November and I'll have my turtlenecks on. <laughs> As she so vividly told me over the phone today. Okay, with that, we have a reading in the approvals of the minutes from the last meeting. Do I have a motion? I make a motion. Motion by John. I have a second. Second, second by Mark. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. <clears throat> Thank you. Kelly, I'll leave that up here for the recording. Uh, first hearing uh, on this application, Kelly will be passing around um, a sign-up sheet. Please just make sure, because we need to know who's in the room if anybody needs to speak. So everybody, please sign in, whether you're here for one hearing or two. That would be helpful to us. Um, on each applicant that we call today, the format would be that you'd come to the front of the room with the microphone, if you have a set of plans, we'd ask you to post it, speak into the microphone. Once you're done, the board will have some questions for you, and um, maybe a few, maybe none. And then at that point, the audience can certainly ask any questions or be invited to speak as well on that particular application. So with that, I will read the first application um, of Benjamin Kappel McG McGill Lane. Would you please come on up if you're here? And uh, I'll read the application and then we'll move it forward. This is on the application of uh, Ben Campbell of 3 Mogill Lane for a special permit pursuant to Section 2.3 of the Zoning Bylaw in relation to 140,000 plus or minus square foot parcel of land located on the northerly side of Mogill Lane in Milford and known as Number 3 Mogill. The special permit uh, seeks authorization for the establishment of a supplemental apartment within the existing structure and uh, an extension uh, to be constructed thereon. As I review the application, uh, the applicant uh, basically is explained that the permit uh, is there are two family members and this is going to be a three-room supplemental apartment, which is actually authorized under the Town of Zoning Regulations. Uh, otherwise, there's no other information on the um, on the application, the apartment will be used by parents and uh, family will be living in the main house. With that, um, I'll paraphrase as this has been sent off to the planning board. They, meant, they met at their regular hearing on October 3rd. The uh, planning board indicated that uh, they voted uh, favorable with a stipulation on the deed that a supple supple supplemental use will cease and revert back to a single family home when it is no longer occupied by an in-house family member. Um, concerning the application itself, um, they are requesting to construct a, con a supplemental apartment in an existing single-family home on McGill Lane. The existing dwelling is on a conforming lot and complies with all setback requirements. The proposal is to remodel the basement of the existing house to accommodate the supplemental apartment. The proposed floor plan indicates a three-room supplemental unit in compliance with the zoning bylaws. Therefore, they did recommend a favorable report be sent off to this board. With that, Mr. Campbell, uh, the floor is yours. Give us an idea of what you're doing. You know, give us an outline of the main house. Okay. And if that's a new structure in the back, please indicate that. That sure. would be helpful. So uh, good evening, board members. Uh, my name is Benjamin Campbell. I'm a lifelong resident in Milford. Um, as well as uh, my general contractor, uh, Sean Smith, 
here to help me answer any questions you may, may have. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a, you know, in addition to the back of the existing structure, uh, this is, you know, where the, the street is on McGill Lane, and then, you know, this is the, uh, the first level of the existing structure. Uh, so this back portion part is the uh, addition. Um, you know, it has, you know, I took into account, you know, the guidance from the, uh, the planning uh, board members uh, from their meeting there. Uh, my architect just updated the drawings this week. Um, there's, you know, very minimal changes from uh, what was originally submitted. It was just, you know, this is a, a load-bearing wall where, you, where he opened up that, that, um, that room to kind of enlarge the living room. So here is, you know, a, a kitchen, you know, a bath, you know, and then the living room, you know, on, on the, uh, the first floor. Um, and then the second story of it, you know, here's my, again, my existing structure, you know, here's my kitchen. And then, you know, it opens up into what would be a um, community room, you know, a, a sunroom, you know, there's no doorway here. Uh, and then here would be the, uh, the bedroom for my, uh, my in-laws to, uh, to live in up here. There's a, um, you know, a bathroom up here. And then, you know, the, the deck, existing deck gets removed and a uh, new deck gets installed um, to the side. Did you submit any of those plans with the application to the ZBA? Yes. Yeah, yeah I submitted uh, all the uh, details, uh, you know, engineering drawings. All I have is, I, I just have an old plot plan and then I have the existing house. I, don't think that's I think that's mine. Yeah, oh, there's the wrong one. No wonder. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, you have the wrong file open. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Chairman, there's the uh, the sorry about that. <laughs> you know, the, the certified yeah. plot plan for the uh, there you go. All right, plot that I had done as well as you know the detailed you know you architecture I drawings. I knew I had a different folder. Apparently now, there we go. Okay. Additional copies if any other board members uh, need to look at it. So the the deck the deck you're taking down the existing deck and you're adding another twenty by twenty deck, correct? Yes, yep, the existing deck. Uh, it needs to be removed, you know, for the uh, addition to go on there. So your access to the in-law is from? My existing uh, kitchen. Is there an exterior form of egress to that unit as well? Uh, it would be here on the... Um, Yes, uh, from my existing kitchen, it, it's there's a uh, doorway right here from the uh, the sunroom. That goes out to the deck. Yeah, that goes out to the deck. And then there's a main entry door on the first floor. Of the yeah, that's where I'm looking. That's what I'm looking for next. The main entry on the first the floor. Aggressive. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So then on the uh, the first level, there's the uh, main entry door. You can see that kind of annotated by the indentation on the on the drawings. Um, you know that it indicates the uh, way there. Okay. Any questions from the board? Uh, I'm sorry. What were the means of egress? Yeah. Two means of egress: the front door on the first level. Oh, the front, the, the existing front door. Uh, no, on the addition. Yeah, I can uh, point it out. You, yeah, Ben, can you come up here? Because I'm old and I can't read stuff. So right here where it indents, you know, here's the uh, the entryway. You see the doors. Oh, is the door right here? Swinging out. Yep. Okay. Right any, any other door? Yep. And then the slider. On the on the next level, there's the uh, the um, exit out onto the. So you're not, oh, there it is, okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. So the means of egress in the bottom floor and one on the top floor. Yes. Yes. And you have addressed the planning board comments? Yes. Okay. Which would entail the three by three rooms instead of four? Yes, correct. Yes. Yep. Uh, since Cap asked first, why don't uh, I go to Charlie if Cap's all set? Okay, uh, question. This, as you're looking at the front of the house, I'm just trying, the addition is going to be on the left hand side in the back. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, you, you won't see it really from the street, um, but it's going to be on the left-hand side in the back. Right, correct. and then you're going to put on the right side, you're going to reconstruct a concrete patio, is that correct? Or is this going to be existing there? That's an, an existing uh, patio that the, okay. you know, I'm going to remove the existing deck and then basically the deck needs to slide over. Right, okay, because I was looking at the, okay. And uh, obviously this meets all the setback requirements, right? Yep, included uh, in the package is a uh, certified plot plan that I just had recently done. So all you're You'll going probably to be required to do an as-built when you're complete. Okay. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure you have that in the, in the file. Once you're complete with the addition, you're gonna need an as-built. Okay. So simply what you're saying is you're looking for intensity of use to add a uh, in-law apartment uh, on the first floor of that apartment will be at your basement level, mm -hmm. and then the second level of that apartment will be your first level of your home with a combined room for both of you to meet, and then they can sleep there and so forth. Yes. And so, okay, so it's just that. Intensity use, no setbacks, fine. Thank you. Thank you. Good. 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 I'm all set. John? Yeah. No questions. All set. And you're, you're okay with the language for that uh, supplemental part and be in the deed as the planning board recommended? Yes. Well? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't have any other questions. Uh, you have the last word before we take it under advisement and vote. Uh, thank you for your time and you know, thank you for the uh, you know, hearing. Nice really to appreciate the it. Come home. Nice to have yes. the parents come home. Yeah, absolutely. Time you're taking care of them, right? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> All right. With that, we'll close the hearing. What's the, uh, what's the flavor of the board? I have a motion to approve. Make a motion to approve. Um, also, it is a since it's a supplemented apartment, it will be, have to be noted on the deed as such. Um, with that um, disclosure in there, if that's okay, I have a second. Second, second by Charlie. All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you, sir. Great. Wasn't too bad. Thank, thank you, board members. Really Started appreciate with it. the wrong file, but I got there. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. No, you have to thank you. If you hang around for the next one, I'll make your time. Good to see you again. Okay. Now I'll pull the right file for you. Come on up. I'll read the announcement and then we're good to go. Uh, this is on the application of Mangut and Sharon Manugian and Malini. I hope I'm not really Melanie. screwing up the pronounce. How do you spell, how do you pronounce? Melanie. Melanie Figueroa. Figueroa, okay, Silville Road. <laughs> <laughs> Special perimeter to a 45,000 plus or minus square foot lot. Uh, it's located on the northerly side uh, of Silver Hill and Whitewood Road, known as number 71 Silver Hill. Special relief is sought to establish a supplemental apartment with existing structure with uh, 71 Silver Hill Road. Um, the applicant uh, stipulates similar with the past one. This is, again, a supplemental family apartment unit. The planning board... Um, uh, did review this at their um, October 3rd meeting, and it basically indicated that the proposal is a conforming lot. The proposal is to remodel the basement of an existing house to accommodate the supplemental apartment. The proposed floor plan indicates a three-room supplemental unit in compliance with the zoning bylaws. 
they recommend a favorable recommendation. Uh, again, it uh, indicates favor with the stipulation on the deed that the supplemental use, uh, when reverts back to a single family, um, is ceased to exist. So with that, the floor is there. Give us an idea of what you're going to do. I see a couple of plans in here. This, so this one is the plot, the as the as built, I think, plot plan of the uh, property. Okay. Um, and then this is um, the basement. So there is no new building. It is just um, remodeling of the basement. It's, a, it's an unfinished basement right now. So we just want to put the bedrooms in and the bathroom and the great room, kitchen space. Okay. And you have your egresses come directly from the basement yes, of the house? Yes, it doesn't show it on here, but through the, the back, there's a existing sliders. Yeah. And then through the garage, this is the garage space, so that's yeah. not going to be really part of the remodel. Um, we're going to convert one of them into um, a door so that they can walk through that bay of the garage, and there's, a, there's an existing door here. And then we have the um, upstairs, and then each of the bedrooms will have a window. Now, do you have plans in the process for those? Are you submitting those to the building department? What is your next step on that? Because you're going to need to show them on the plan, the, the egress. The egress, right. Um, I, this, the builder that we had um, didn't put the windows in or the, or the existing slider in, so um, that's we're working with a contractor. So. Um, okay, so next. you're going to have a form of egress from the family room to the rear of the house? Yes, that is our, that's existing. Sliders mm -hmm. are already there. Okay. And then bedroom one and bedroom two, two will have um, windows yep. in them. And then there's also an um, exit through um, near where it says closet. Um, there's a, on the side, yep. there's a door right there. And then the stairs go up to our kitchen. All right, so, the, the, so that door will enter into the family room from the garage, correct? Correct. Okay. Okay, uh, I'll start on your end, John. I have no Any questions. questions? Nope. No questions. No questions. You're good. I'm, I'm good. Yep. That's the garage under. It, the, the garage is street level, and the, the so it's this is all level to the ground. Right. Right. So I guess no, it is basement. A, it's a family room over the garage. Right. So yeah. it, uh, that's yeah. why I call it garage under. Okay. The garage yeah. is it's not the garage is not level with the first floor. It's Correct. level with the basement. Correct. Right. Okay. All set. Okay. Charlie? I'm all set. All set. I'm good. All set? Real easy tonight, huh? Yeah. Great. Okay. With that, we, you have your last word before we close the hearing. We just would like to do this for my parents to live with us. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, the hearing is closed. Uh, I did put the egresses on the existing plan, which I'll sign to indicate where those are, and then uh, they'll submit that, of course, to the building department. With that... Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by John, seconded by Dave. All those in favor? Fine. That's unanimous. Great, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. you know you have a 20-day appeal period, right? Yeah. <laughs> you won't see us again. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a 20-day appeal period, so you can't really do anything for 20 days. Oh, okay. Is what I, is what I meant. Because okay. if someone comes in and contests it, I see. then they would probably, you'd have to stop. Okay. You'll get a letter from town council and uh, you want to make sure that you get that recorded. Okay. okay. Yep. All right, great. Looks like that will be uh, the last hearing of the evening. Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion to <laughs> adjourn, please. Nobody wants to leave. What? I'll second it. <laughs> motion to adjourn. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Have a great night.